on and go. Hello, lifeforms. It is I, Bonsai, and I'm back playing some more Fallout 4. I'm going to be going through the Dunwich Borers. Apparently, there's some crazy stuff going on in there. So, I feel like I'd give it a little once over and see what I can find. And again, I cannot hear myself talk when I'm when I'm using this thing. But, uh, I'm hoping that all of you can hear me just fine. Anyway, let's get to it. Now, these raiders that are currently occupying Dunwich Borers are a very rare, uh, group. They are actually aligned with another raider tribe, and that is almost unheard of here in the Commonwealth. Hey, wait there. I'm gonna have my dog stay here, because... I don't want him giving me away. And I have another mission here. It's a mission for the Brotherhood where I gotta find an item in the steamer trunk at the bottom. Let's see. I'll take that. Terminal. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fix that, shall we? By the way, you can find this particular item, the turret override program, in a cemetery real close to uh, Starlight Drive-In. Let's see. Yeah, override targeting parameters. Because I'd rather them be shooting at the bad guys than shooting at me. There, that should offer a nice little distraction as I work further and further down. Aww. Well, poo. Well, I said it should make for a good distraction, but I guess not. Yeah, sure you will. Seriously? God, this guy's got the luck of the devil. Either that or I'm just a real lousy shot. Okay, I'm in your blind spot, yet you're still shooting at me. Brilliant. What, what the hell? Oh, come on. Okay. Shit. Lost him. Yeah, you did. Ha! Found your sorry ass. Knife beats rifle. That's just sad. Ow. Okay. I hate how they just flinch and that's how you miss them. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm out of grenades. I can't believe I'm saying this or I'm actually out of grenades. Get it. Shoot, 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 shoot. I should have come in here at night. Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna come back here at night. Because this is getting ridiculous. Alright, yeah. Yes.
All right, let's try this again. We're just gonna ignore that first part, okay? I keep getting notifications on Facebook and it's getting a little distracting. But that's okay, that's okay. Besides, it's best to come in at night anyway, considering the fact that I got the night person perk. Let's see, is there a chair around here that I can sit in? Oh god. hate blood bugs. They can one-shot you. Short combat right... sharp combat right leg. Hmm. Well... Might be better than some of the stuff I'm using. Okay, I'll be sure not to come back here again. Oh, it's a skeleton. Never mind. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's it's a freaking chem box. I don't care about that. I just came here at the wrong time. But that's okay. That's okay. We can fix that. Hey, Scabber. Let's trade. Let's not. Do you have a chair? No, you don't. Of course not. God, I am screwing this up, but how is that any normal from any other playthrough that I have, right? All this just to find a lousy chair or a bed or something. Oh, I know where one is. Here we go. Perfection. Grab me a couple hours of sleep. And should be nighttime, so it should be a whole lot harder for them to spot me. Didn't even realize I had any more death claws meat. Because why not? Experience is experience. Any XP is good XP. I'll quit your wanting. I swear this dog wants more than I do. The heck? Please tell me they haven't seen me yet. All right. Where's the dog? Okay. Hold. Stay right there. Don't do anything stupid. Well, anything stupid er. Oh look, my first victim. What the hell was that? That was nothing. 
Nothing you need concern yourself with. I should use automatic weapons more often. I mean, I got so much ammo, it's not even funny anymore. Alright, let's see. Alright, done which borers. Good. Anyway. Uh, what, what can we talk about? Oh, yeah. I heard rumors that uh, for the next Fallout game, there's going to be a dual wield system. Where you can actually wield two pistols at once. I've been waiting for that for a long time. I've been waiting for that ever since New Vegas. So that should be pretty interesting. See how uh, Bethesda pulls that off. And I hear they're finally going to get rid of the uh, engine that you're using right now for New Vegas and 3. And this one... Yeah, I'm going to have to ask you to stay quiet and not do anything stupid. I mean, I know that's a concept that's difficult for you, and... Oop. First of all... Load holotape. Feels like deja vu, doesn't it? Let's see, um, yeah. I'm looking for a turret control. Turret override program. Here we are. Override targeting. God, this guy's got a crap ton of armor. Fair enough. Inventory. Yes. Bottle cap mine, because why not? That's what I should have left there in the first place. Once, I actually wish I brought some mines with me, but I've never been very good with using them, because uh, it's hard to... Whoa, hello! There's going to be so many caps on that catwalk, it's not even going to be funny anymore. <laughs> yeah, that Joker's got some power armor. I want that power armor. I know you're here. I'll fight you. Yeah, sure you will. Ah, shoot, I'm out of range. Should have known that. Are you... Are you coming up? Only a fucking coward hide. Really? Well, you would know. There was no way you could have seen me. Alright, come on. Come on. I know this is boring, but... Yeah, so do you. Ah, damn it! Quit! God 
damn it. There. Well, that was mildly annoying. Oh, I see you down there, you shit. As for you... I am going to wait until it gets to caution, and then I'm going to try and find, try and sneak him. As in, I'm going to try and steal his power core, so he'll lose his ability to use his power armor. Good, good. Where'd that little fucker go? I don't know. Why don't you actually look for me? Maybe I'm behind this big-ass rock that you saw me run behind. Ever think of that? God. Enemy AI in this game is sad. Alright. Before I go any further... I'm going to save. Let's, all right, there we go. And now, oh, dad, gum it! All right, let's try that again. It is getting harder and harder to pickpocket people in this game. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but I had him dead to rights. I should have been able to pick his pocket. And for some reason, I've always liked the way the metal oh, armor looks. Yes, I need the grenades. I need all the grenades. All of them. Actually, I actually need tar berries, too. Alright, where are you? Still going down the stairs? Yes, you are. Alright. I think I got him this time. I don't like this. Yeah, well, I don't like you. God! Nine out of ten chances to get him, and I screwed it up. What kind of scrub am I? All right. Fusion core pickpocket, take three. There's also a bug if you come around Dunwich Boars and you leave your power armor outside before you go into the mine, it will disappear from the world. I am not lying when I say that. Alright, dump truck, you're mine. Now die! Thank you! Very kind of you, really. Let's see, heavy...
sturdy metal chest piece. Turn. I've been looking forever to find me a heavy metal chest piece. Well, anyway, that armor, I don't think if you uh, steal the power armor from this guy that it'll disappear, but I'm just going to leave it here for right now and we'll see if it does. Jesus, that was a pain in the chassis. Save now. <clears throat> and now we can thoroughly explore Dunwich Boar's mine. Like I said, they're actually uh, allied with another raider tribe. They're in line with uh, Slag at Sargus Ironworks. He's the uh, he's the leader of the Forged, and these guys are working together. They're mining metal, and the guys at Dunwich, I mean, uh, the guys at Dunwich Boars are mining metal, and the guys at Sargus are actually melting down the metal, and they're take, making weapons and armor and things like that out of them, which I thought was fairly interesting, and I thought that was fairly pathetic. Seriously, that... Those pistols are wildly inaccurate. I'd be shocked and amazed if they could actually hit something. Never use this. I am going to use this real quick like to uh, see if there's anything up here. I've never actually gone into this part of the mine before. Huh. No way to pick this. I have an idea that there's something interesting behind that door. We'll come back for that later. For right now, let's continue with our exploration of the mine. I'll take that, because oil, always useful, always, always. And... Let's kill the lights. I don't know, why don't you come up here and find out? Alright. Communications. Urgent message. Message from management. Message to Bob Stanson. Station one received. Bob, you've... You're needed immediately down at station four. Will you explain when you get here? We'll explain when you get here. Management. To management. Message from Bob Stanton. Stanson, Station 1, message to management received. Request for a new support beams repeatedly denied. Thank you for extra padding at Station 1 terminal. Station 1 output, highest it's been all year. You're doing a great job, everyone. Bob Stanson, Project Manager, Station 1. Station 1 update, message from Bob Stanson, Station 1 received. We continue to produce good cuts from this section. Ventilation excellent, morale good, incident free for 93 days. That is pretty impressive. Safety first, wear eye protection, fall in debris. Please remind everyone to wear eye protection when recording our fourth incident of the month where someone lost an eye due to flying rock from machinery. It's simple. Wear eye protection. If we need to bring in the last eyeball we recovered as an example. Ew. Gross. Remember that we are working at war and the conditions are dangerous. We set up beams where we think provided the best support with the least amount of materials. It's a cost-cutting solution that saved us a lot of money over the years. That being said, if you or anyone you know reports rumblings or sees something that looks unstable, give it to some give it some time and see if it passes. If not, contact your administrator and we'll set up a time to get the situation looked at. Management. No, you report that immediately. Uh pre war cost cutting suits. Jeez. Railings. Message from management. Message to project managers all received. Much like our support beams, railings cost money. We've 
place them where we deemed appropriate. However, we've had several incidents involving workers falling to their deaths, especially near Station 2. Please take the time to remind workers to be a conscious of their surroundings and not lean on the railings. Some of them have rusted out and may no longer be stable. Every six months we inspect the railings, so if we find one that's no longer sturdy, it's probably on the back log and will be taken care of shortly. No need to log another complaint. Management. Yeah, um, I don't believe you for even a split second there, pal. Upcoming events. Happy hour. That sounds happy. Let's see, it's that time. Again, please join us at the pit station three for another happy hour of drink. This will be provided, and as always, the bill will be split for all and taken out of next week's paycheck. Oh, cheapskate. So, no need, need to bring cash. Please drink responsibly. We don't want a repeat of last happy hour incident involving Jerry falling to his death. Well, I don't think we'll have a repeat of that. I'm sure Jerry's good and dead now. Annual picnic. Annual picnic this year will be held near the entrance to the quarry. Rain or shine, feel free to bring a dish of any kind. Nuka Cola will be provided. If you're bringing children, please keep an eye on them, especially if they are playing near the quarry ledge. To prevent a repeat of last year's incident, we are excited to announce that we've stuck struck a deal with Robco and they'll be providing an extra sentry bot to keep everyone in order. Why would you need a sentry bot to keep order? That doesn't make any sense. Turret control. Yeah, I'm just gonna deactivate that. Really? Nothing there. What do you think? I think you gave up your search a bit too early. That's just me. Oh, Jesus. Here comes another one. I hate the fact that they have headlamps. They can spot me a little too easily in here. No, you don't want to see my face. It's very ugly. Of course, you guys know that. Again. These guys give up way too easy. Ooh, that kill animation. Awesome. Always use a Tato. Oh, I could use that. Thank you. Alright. Let's continue further down. So, alright, so far what we've seen, typical pre-war management, they don't really give a crap about their workers. They're, they're being cheap. No big surprise. I mean, yeah, they're going to provide Nuka Cola at their picnic, but everybody else has to bring their own food. BYOD. There we go. Recoil composite. Nah, I don't care. Shouldn't have done that. I shot my load a little too soon. <laughs> That's what she said. I should be what? Why don't you come down here and tell me that to my face? Alright, we're getting to section two.
Alright, I'm gonna risk standing up so I can turn off my night vision. That's another bad thing. The, these lights are really hurting my eyes. I normally get uh, two ranks in night person just because I can't stand looking down a, a scope, a night vision scope during the day. It hurts my eyes. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Butt shot for the win. Looks good to me. Combat rifle. Really? A pipe pistol? Eh, good enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Twelve steel. Good. Scrap that too. Alright, there was a terminal over here. Now that we've taken care of business, let's take a gander at the terminal. Communications. Urgent message. Message to John Hatfield, Station 2. You're needed immediately down at Station 4. We'll explain when you get here. Everybody has to go to a Station 4, apparently. Interesting. New boring machine. New boring machine. Thank you for the upgrade to our new boring machine for Station 2. Output increased 5% in the past week. John, Station 2, Project Manager. Station 2, Update. Steady, good quality cuts over the past couple of months. Traffic from Station 3 continues to slow down our output. I suspect traffic will cease to be a problem once Station 3 and Station 4 receive their materials. John, Station 2, Project Manager. Safety first. Yeah, we've already gone through all, all those, and... Yep, we've gone through the upcoming events. Oh, wait a second, just... Does it say when those upcoming events were going to be? Nope. Hmm. For some reason, I have a bad feeling that that's going to become very important soon. Alright, I think I'm... Nope, I'm not. I thought I was going the right way, but I'm not. Derp! we got to go further down into the mine. Down, not up. Hello. Die now, thank you. That's very considerate of you. Alright, as per usual, lights out. Or, nope. There, that's better. Let's take a look at Station 3. What's all this traffic going on anyway? Communications. Urgent message. Message from management. Message to Bradley Ramon, Station 3. Your... Okay. Railing requests. Message from Bradley Ramon. Hey guys, I wanted to check in about those new railings I requested a while back. We almost had another guy fall the other day. Thanks. Station 3 update. John at Station 2 continues to complain to our crew for slowing down their production. No matter what I say, he tells me to bring it up with you guys. Can you please talk some sense into him? He knows we 
need the equipment. That ain't never good. Were they stealing equipment from the other station or something? That's what it seems like to me. Either that or they were just too afraid to stay near their station because of the bad work environment. Hi! Raider veteran, Bedlam! Bedlam, you seem important. Alright. You're kinda in my way, pal. I'm gonna need you to, I don't know, die. And Bedlam was a female. Alright. Got all this, and... Oh, okay, never mind. I don't need that. It's gotten to the point where I can just look at their armor and tell what they do and do not have. Haptic drive. Yeah, this is what I needed. There is a Magorosine. Bingo. Astonishingly awesome tails. 5% less damage from robots. Well, if I were fighting Liberty Prime, that'd be very useful. And someone told me that there is a bobblehead down here, too. Can't remember exactly where they said it was. Unless it's further down in the mine. Which it could very well be. Alright. Bedlam's Terminal. Two. Alright. I'm gonna say it's... Well, that's ominous. Cleaning house. Bunch of GD cowards. Saugus can't run without its iron, so Slag sent me to figure out why the scum in this place can't turn out a shipment of scrap to save their lives. And what do I find? These yellow you-know-what's eating food they haven't earned, whispering to themselves about the things down in the mine. Well, I'm here now. These maggots have bigger things to fear than a couple of ferals. Another stoppage. Last two shipments made it out on time, but the crew we sent to clear out the ghouls down below haven't come back. We're running out of scrap up here. We need to get deeper into the mine. Guess I have to do everything around here. I'm safe in the light. 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 Safe from what? Okay, they chained this up, because apparently there are ferals down here. Oh, shake it, rattle and roll around here. This place is unstable. Jesus. Quite a few of these jokers. Okay, that was stupid of me. That, not so much. Poisoner's pull cue. Um, no. Not even worth the amount of space it would take up in my inventory. That's just one of those items that'll make you groan when you find a legendary version of it. It's the Phantom Buttstabber! 
I hate charred barrel ghouls. They are so freaking ugly. Like that guy is a good example. All right. Huh? Okay. Uh, sure. Hi, guys. That's it. That? You saw that. The switch turned off on its own. Not cool, broski. Not cool. That's Enhanced Revolutionary War Sword. Okay. When I become General of the Minutemen, that might actually be useful. So it looks like there was a turf war between these ghouls and these raiders. And there's some spooky stuff going on down here. Alright, what's back here? Anything interesting? Hmm? Anything? Well, you didn't have a good day. Ghoul's creeping out of somewhere. I can hear him below me. Okay, lights out. Good. There we go. Persistent little lobster, aren't you? There we go. Thank you. Snake, snake, snake. Excellent. Snake bobblehead. The safest distance between two points is a shadowy line. You are permanently 10% harder to detect. Yes. All right. Let's see what was going on at Station 4. Safety first. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, uh, play tape. Tim Shoots here. No suspicions were raised when the new equipment was brought in the other day. Crew at Station 4 are still under the impression that we are setting up a new station beyond this area. The standing crew you hired are convincing enough. However, do worry about the project managers at the other stations. Especially Bob at Station 1. We all know he takes his job very seriously. Bullet point updates bug the hell out of me. McCut tells me we'll figure out something's going on down here sooner rather than later. Please advise. Okay, something's going on further down in the mine. Excel, yes. <clears throat> Excel is an ultra rare chem. Excuse me for a second. Frag grenades, yes. And mollies are going to be arrow one. Perfect, perfect. I always have explosives on here. Uh, a selection of primaries here. My medication here and special weapons here. If you were wondering. I need the antifreeze bottles. I need all the antifreeze bottles I can get. Alright. What's going on? Hmm?
Oh. Hi. I'm gonna need you to die. Tim shoots. That was the asshole that was on the hollow tape. Bradley Ramon, he was the chief at Section 3. Dunwich Management. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Dunwich Management. Looked like there was some creepy cultic trash going on just then. Wait a minute. I was thinking management, so I went down to... Never mind, you get it. Tim, good job on keeping things under wraps. We've taken your advice and have asked the other project managers to meet you at Station 4. Stall them if they arrive before we get there. They haven't been told anything. We are very close to accomplishing our goal. Please be patient. You will be rewarded in time. Yeah, um, about that. I'm gonna have to give that one a pass. And I'm also gonna check to see what all's down there in the... in the drink. Yeah. Aid. Marler cakes. There is a mini nuke, another mini nuke, and Crim's tooth. This is just a basic machete. It's got a mod called the Sacrificial Blade. You can actually take this off and put it on a another legendary machete if you have one, and you can have a machete with a total of three legendary perks on it. Very nice. No, I didn't mean to do that. Fixing a say, damn, let me out. Anyway, if you didn't catch the Easter egg, and I wanted to give you a minute to think about it, that is actually a throwback from, um... What is it called? Yeah. Fallout 3. There was... Fallout 3 had a DLC called Point Lookout where you were supposed to get a book from a... the leader of a cult. Well, the last leader of the cult. I can't remember what his name was right off the bat, but it was a... basically just a simple book and you're supposed to get it and uh, find a way to destroy it. Okay, so that was a throwback for it, and it was also a tribute to H.P. Lovecraft, who's like the godfather of modern-day horror. So, if you know him and you caught the reference, bully for you. Darn, I can't believe that only gave me a hundred in rad resistance. Oh, well, that's okay. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to put away Father's lab coat. I, damn it! <laughs> I swear I am as dumb as they get. Longshoreman's outfit, rogue goggles. This is what I was looking for: sharp, sharp, and more sharp. I'm probably going to get rid of that one. Ushanka hat. As per my usual. And that should do it. I'm just going to finish this because I want to see if that uh, power armor disappeared or not. Yes. Antifreeze bottle. Because I need it. Hi! Whoa! Shut up. That was really dumb of me. Once again, I underestimated my opponent and I paid for it. That wasn't too bad. I didn't take too much damage. Still, I think I better be careful when I turn on the lights around here. Hey, I do stupid things so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, goodness. So what did you think of uh, Dunwich Boars? Did you catch all the Easter eggs? Did you think it was fun? What all about this did you like and what did you not like? Because I'd be interested to hear from you. Lights are on. Good. Because lights are always good. Unless they're not. Like when you're trying to sneak. Alright. You know, I'd probably move a lot faster if I put my knife away. Oh, clever. I didn't see that. Throw the switch. Jeez, I love the lighting effect down here. It's really spooky. Anyway, I just finished the uh, the game, and I finished it for the Brotherhood of Steel. Tomorrow night, I'm going to come back to Sanctuary and then head to Concord and see if Mama Murphy has any other uh, additional dialogue. She, you know, she she mentions that your son is still alive and that basically you need to stay strong and you need to be patient if you want to find him. So with that in mind, uh, I wanted to see if she had any alternate dialogue as far as if you've already completed the game, and I wanted to see what she had to say about that, and that is truly disgusting. They were cooking people alive on, on these things. Gross, 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 and all the gross. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead, ahead and uh, commandeer this.
Hold on, is that... Yeah, that's a brand new fusion core. I don't want to take that. I'll use one that's partially depleted. Like this one. And now, without further ado, I am going to disappear. Because I have a fancy new set of power armor and I'm going to strut around in it like a boss. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed tonight's playthrough of Fallout 4 and I hope to see you again tomorrow night at 5.30 for uh, my next play out of Fallout 4 and to find out if Mama Murphy does in fact have some alternate dialogue for me. It was uh, fun exploring Dunwich Boars. I hope you had a good time too. And if you have any suggestions on what you want me to do in Fallout 4 or if you have another game that you'd like me to play, let me know in the comments section below. Mm, excuse me. Good lord. And my name is Bonsai0311. It's the same as it is on Twitch, PlayStation Network, Steam. Mm. And of course, I'm on YouTube. If you'd like to see more of my playthroughs of Fallout 4 and other games, you can go to YouTube at uh, YouTube user bonsai0311.com And if you'd like to make me a friend, send me a friend request on either PlayStation Network or on Steam. I'm always looking forward to making new friends and to play new games with them. Anyway, until tomorrow night, like, link, subscribe, do the whole social thing. And as always, I will see you in the next playthrough. Later.